up one to the ninth. Carl Yuan has this putt for birdie to get to 18 under. Yeah. Second shot plays well uphill. The front left hole location. That's a good birdie there for Carl. Trying to make a run up that board. His last five holes to get into a tie with Norin. Yeah, just a dream start here for Camillo. Finds himself co-leader now 225 downhill downwind. Just look for something towards middle of the green. Though playing the sixth most difficult today. Something a little bit like that. Plenty of birdie opportunities on this golf course, so you don't have to slam the threes. You got to get the fives, and then there's a lot of wedge shots. For birdie. Yeah, only playing 166 yards today, wind in and out of the right. But beyond, he's trying to make a run. A little, little catch by the hole on that right side. This is Matty Schmidt. Schmidt coming off the birdie at seven. All yeah. three guys birdies at seven. Matty with two, two birdies on his card so far. Birdied the par fives. Just looking for something right around Camillo's tee shot. Something middle of the green. Something right in there. That's fine. Go and Craig Perks is with this group. Yeah, Justin, the 25-year-old rookie, a couple under par through the first seven holes, and got a putt that's going to come up a rise and swing to the left. Guy that struggles on the green, this is all about speed control. And pretty good. Pretty, pretty good speed there. control right there. The ninth, let's welcome in Trip Eisenhower. Uh, 115 for Ryan Moore, straight into the wind, playing about 150 up the hill. That needs to hold on. Now, I didn't have the backspin that Adam Scott's had, so that's that stays up there. Otherwise, that would come all the way back down that hill. Team today playing 166. And yeah, this hole can play up to 230 yards, so a little generous T placement, front left hole wow. location, and that is really well Good. done. Nice shot, Tyson. Tyson Alexander, seven under on his round. Keep the nerves in order. Yeah, this is one of those mid-round par-saving putts. Four birdies in his first seven holes. Well, Vegas, really nicely done. Confident you, you, putt. You mentioned those mid-round par-saving putts. That's one that you might want to put an asterisk next to. Yeah, he, he talked about coming to the week. He loves the golf course. He likes playing in the wind, and he loves this Bermuda grass. So some that don't like the surface can struggle with putts of this length. But when you have an affinity for it, I think you're comfortable. He's holding out well. That got maybe a little left of center, but nice par save as well. A couple of pars for the leaders, Vajegas and Norn. Three shots clear of Matty Schmidt. Teenth. Nice and birdie six of his first seven holes to start the day. Adam Long from the fairway. Now here's a golf hole that's going to play a little bit differently. Players were taking it all the way down to the green. Now they cannot get down that hill, so they got to play it to the top of the hill, 15 yards down to that green. But that was a wonderful shot there from Adam. Yeah, we're going to check out the 13th in just a little bit as we're moving up to the 15th. Kevin Roy. Wonder if he was walking that one in or. Thought it was short, but how about that scorecard out in five under 31? He's seven under on the day with three to go. The the concern here, it's 117. Plays 15 yards uphill, then back into the wind, and there's a really significant fall off about five yards short of the green. So really, you've got to be looking at least 30 feet beyond this flag. He's hit some gorgeous fairway bunker shots this week, John. His contact has been brilliant. Yeah, he really has. He's made some birdies out of the fairway bunkers, and this is Good all about the here. catch. Just right of the flag and did not spin it, so really nicely done. Sanctioned event with the Barbasol. Actually, the 54-hole lead was in the final group. That helped him that finish that week. T8, play his way onto the PGA Tour. What did he learn from that experience? Here's yeah, you take that into today. He's, uh, you know, it was an accomplished college player. played well on the DP World Tour. Um, and he has that experience. And he's, you know, getting his feet wet on the PGA Tour. 
It's all about learning. It's a learning experience out here, and you hit shots like that, just gather more and more confidence, know that you can play out here. Tenth up by the green, third for Ryan Moore. Oh. Nicely done. Ryan Moore has that left for his par. Drive the green. That's first couple days. Right now is T4, his best career finish on the PJ Tour, a fifth last year at the Barber Sol. 144 for Whaley, and his is turning as well, right on Stewart's ball. Just short a hole high, so pretty good shot. So with the leader at the 11th. Uh, he's been so proficient in that low cut. And he's done it here again. This is beautiful. It, it is drifting a little right. Needs a favorable bounce. Get it. We'll get back to the fairway. It will. Now that'll, that'll get down that slope. There's another little level down there. So that was pretty well done. I like the like the looks of that tee shot. It was so low. That's that's where we get down to that next level. Might be on a little bit of a downhill lie. It's pulling out all the shots so far in this final round. This was a moment ago. Ryan Moore trying to save his par at the 12th. Par save back at the 11th. And again, that putter is coming up huge for Ryan Moore. He want to hold something up against the wind, not let it swoop across the, the flag stick. Something like that. Oh, great shot. Great shot. Great shot. Great shot. Man, great shot. 66 yards a day, so. I mean, Cookie, he literally almost took it across the flagstick. <laughs> Shot that's going to give you yes. some issues. Indeed. That's a pretty well done, actually. Yeah, does a nice job. See how he got that ball first? A little bit of shaft lean. Didn't take a huge divot. For Jagus, a long putt for birdie. It'll be a good litmus test. Up a rise, straight downwind, and into the green. And I think he would have liked that a little closer, John. He's kind of in that uh, territory. He made a nice one on the front nine. Now Norin here for birdie. Yeah, chance for a two-shot swing to apply a little bit of pressure here. Oh, yeah. Yeah, there it is. Well, nicely done by Norin. Carry you to victory. Huge putt. Two-shot swing here. Yeah. He looked comfortable yeah. on that. Craig he just stepped up, went right straight through his routine, knocked it right in the center. Like you said, that's a big confidence boost. Absolutely. Been sensational with short arms this week. He has really flatted these clubs nicely, and there's no reason not to take a go at this flag stick, and he does. Just a little short, but a quality golf shot. Again, a chance for a swing now at 14. Come down. Skip it up the slope. Yeah, see that nice check, then that release up the hill. That was really well done. Not an easy shot. What you got to love about his technique is, we talked a little bit about it with Matty Schmidt, is down onto the top of the ball, that descending angle. Down on the ball, the ball in the air, let it check, release. Beautiful motion. Comfortable par, though. Has made pars, all pars here on the back nine, all pars since the eighth hole. Down the left, maybe you can cut it up against that breeze and try and take some of the speed out of this ball, just trying to find the fairway. Goes with less than driver there, Craig. I like that play going downwind. Get that ball up in the air, let it run. Now he's turned this golf hole into a birdie opportunity with that tee shot. Great tee shot. Penalty areas to the right and left, and you wouldn't know it from Noren's tee shot as he splits the fairway. Uh, that's exactly what he's done. This is absolutely perfect. Yeah, he kind of looking for that tee pretty quickly, so he is very pleased. That is still going right there next to Alex Noren's ball. Turns this golf hole into a birdie opportunity. Drop back a couple. Birdie putt for Whaley at the 15th. Yes, sir. Solid birdie. That might help him flight this because you want to run this. This ball, you want to hit in the middle and get it chasing back there. Now, this is a 
good looking shot and right at it if it's the club. It was. Oh, wow. What a what a comeback. After driving it in the penalty area, it has a chance to make birdie. And a couple of good ones in front of him. Don't have to worry about the spin, just to control the distance. Oh, hitting the top of the flag stick right there, Craig. What a great answer. Rattling the stick, Bajagas. He has been so money with those wedges all week. Green and the tilt of the, the earth is from left to right. The wind whipping from right to left. So I think that's going to neutralize some of that break and that grain involvement. Key here, Craig, is to trust that. It is going to go to the right, but what a great answer there. Solid putt for Alex Norn. No issues. Feel staff very kind today on the T placement there at 16. Turn a little bit more and really nice roll, nice pacing. His best finish was a fifth at the Barbasol a year ago. Whaley right now T12. He makes this for birdie. I would push him to T7. In his last start at the Butterfield Bermuda Championship came two years ago. John 2021, he finished T7 that week. There you go. So he's got good memories around here. Should go left right off the strike. So read it correctly. Pours it in. Good way right there. I'm running away from him. Getting in there pretty quick. He was ready to go. And how oh, spectacular was that? You like go this? Ahead finish. Going ahead to finish out, John? <laughs> this is interesting. Let's see this. Yeah, I was going to say that he, he stepped in there. Matty Schmidt hadn't even played his third yet. And he just wanted uh, Alex Noren to see it. What clutch has he been? Birdie's on 15 and 17. Now is a two shot lead. You know, going into the final rounds, I was either around the lead or in the lead. I always, you know, no put, no three putts. Don't give away the par threes. Birdie the fives. He's done exactly that. And he's got less than driver in hand. Yeah, it's the smart play hey, as he waits nice. for some of the ambitious crowd to cross there. The wind pretty much just straight right to left. And I think if you hit driver, you would bring the, the far right bunker into play. It's about 300 yards. But short of that bunker right, John, there's plenty of room. No doubt. Just don't want it down there on that left. Dustin Driver, he's made wonderful golf swings. He gets in there pretty quick, confidently. Well, aim right, started right, and trying to use the wind. He's just Magnificent. Yeah, that got a friendly bounce, and just to the left of those bunkers. It avoids all the divots. I said a little while ago that he was thinking that I, I need you know, three quality swings. I need to hit three quality shots. What do I need to do? He hit, hit a couple pretty good ones there at 17. At the 72nd hole, Ryan Moore looking for back-to-back -back birdies to close out his tournament. Get He's had that the plastic working. Top of the line. Why not one more? Jagus will put a mark on it, and he'll have that for his fifth career win, first in 3,374 days. This left. Yeah. Camilo Vajegas is back in the winner's circle.